All day today, we spoke to several members of the Jewish community, and let me tell you something, there were several vigils going on, and from what we've seen, not only were they filled with sorrow, but also compassion. A deadly weekend in Pittsburgh. It's horrifying. 11 lives lost after 46-year-old Robert Bowes opened fire inside a synagogue during Shabbat services Saturday morning. Beyond heartbreaking. These are our brothers. These are our sisters. All day Monday, community members from all across the state are remembering those lost. Here at the University of Hartford, Jacob Nemeth helped organize this vigil, not only for members of the Jewish community, but for all people. This time, it affected my community. This was the most lethal act against the Jewish population in U.S. history. There is a community here of folks who are united to uh, promote diversity and equity and inclusion and to speak out and to say that together we can confront hatred. And in South Windsor, faith leaders are holding service here at Temple Beth Hillel. They are mourning their fallen brothers and sisters, but also reminding those of the redeeming qualities of people. We're a community of immigrants, and we don't burn that ladder behind us. We hold it out for others. That's what makes us a great nation. And in the capital city, Eva Schloss, Holocaust survivor and stepsister of Anne Frank, speaking to hundreds about her experience in Nazi Germany. She even spoke about Saturday's synagogue shooting and held a moment of silence for the victims and their families. In the United States, we have to learn how to work together, be a more uh, combined you know, group of people and not be so divided. Patriot will not get us anywhere. This, the energy there was amazing. And even those people who suffered like Eva, they have forgiveness in their hearts. And they are, she's trying to bring people together. And I hope this message will come across. Now, also today, a professor at the University of Hartford offered a class to teachers who teach middle school and high school students. In that class, it shows them how to properly educate those students about the Holocaust and the genocide. For now in Hartford, Ike Ajachi, Fox 61 News.